Hey everybody, we're here at the van show talking to my friend, Michael Fry. Say hi, Michael. Hey. Hey. He says, hey, I say hi. That's all right. <laughs> we come from different worlds, man. I'm a monster. I'm, I'm assuming you're not a monster. No, no. Okay, good. Not today, anyway. <laughs> now, Michael, tell us, we want to know about you. So where are you from? So I'm, uh, I live near uh, Buta, Texas, out in uh, Hill Country. All right, so, that's close to Austin. Yeah, just Austin, down the road. Yeah, what do you love about Buta? Um, we live out in the country and like being out there uh, far away from everyone. <laughs> oh, yeah? You like the isolation? Yes, definitely. Is it quiet out there? Yes, very quiet. Yeah. Just just chirps. Me and, the, and the cows and the rattlesnakes and the, uh, <laughs> and the feral pigs. <laughs> <laughs> Does anything scare you? Yeah, lots of things scare me, you know. Um, when you get to be a grown-up, you got to pay the mortgage. <laughs> That's frightening <laughs> every month. <laughs> But uh, no, I, you know, I get scared by lots of things and um, I get nervous like for this interview. Really? So, yeah, absolutely. Oh, come on. So, so it's just like when you're a kid and you're standing up and having to do a book report. Yeah. You know, in front of the whole class. You know, I used to get nervous for that. So. Um, well, what kind of stuff did you do to make yourself not feel so well, nervous? Well, what I do is what I do now is I do a lot of, of breathing. So one of the tips for your kids is you can, you know, breathe in on three. And hold your breath a little bit and then breathe out Wait, on six. Can we do that together? Yeah, sure. Okay, so breathe in for three, breathe right. out for six. Yep. Okay, here okay. we go. Can you count for us? Yes. All right, here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, twelve, fifteen. <laughs> Woo! That was a little bit calming, though. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. It yeah. Calms that, you down a little bit. Yeah. So. Thank you. All right. Well, now, now, now that we know how to not be scared, we can get on to this scary book about a supervillain. Now, what's it called? It's called How to Be a Supervillain. How to Be a Supervillain. Cool. Now, now, have you been a writer for a long time? Um, I have. I have for over uh, like 35 years. Wow. What got you started in writing? So I started in college doing uh, cartoons for the school newspaper. And that eventually I started doing comic strips. Um, I do the... Uh, like, write, like peanuts kind of stuff? Yeah, just like that in newspapers. Okay. You know, like the Sunday funnies. Yeah. And uh, Which, which do, one did you write? Uh, uh, I do the one called Over the Hedge. Oh, like the movie? Yeah, the one. Probably a lot of you kids have seen the movie. Yeah. Okay, in a world, there is a good kid named Victor Spoil. Victor and he Spoil. has very bad parents. That's he a has great name. He has super villain parents. And they want him to carry on in the family business and and Victor wants to he wants to try but he just can't help himself he's really good so as a last ditch effort his parents mentor him mentoring means you go and, and do an apprenticeship or you work with another supervillain and oh, okay. they go and, and but it's the lamest supervillain on the planet <laughs> and his name is the smear the smear and guess what his superpower is I, he shoots cream cheese out of his fingers. Close. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Super stains. Super stains? They never wash out. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man, watch out, laundry man. Right. So, <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a silly, fun book, but it's a, it's a lot about something that all kids have to deal with, which is when you're getting older, there are things your parents want you to do, and there's things you want to do. Ah, and you're, yes. starting, you're starting to kind of separate a little bit. And how do you handle that? How do you still, you know, be a good kid and still respect your parents, but at the same time do your own thing? Yeah, wow, that's a really important book. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. Ooh, haiku book review. Now, I've written some haikus okay. along with Debo's help. And these are about children's books. So I'm going to read the haiku, and you're going to try to guess what book it's about. <laughs> Lucy discovers magic realm inside wardrobe. Siblings don't buy it. Uh, the, the, the... the I don't know the first one, The Witch in the Wardrobe. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, the, roar. The lion, the yes, witch in the wardrobe. Yes, yes, ding, 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 ding. You Yay. got it. All right. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Keep reading.